Welcome back guys, Matt here, and today we are back with another episode on the Splash Pad series. We are building the final equipment that we need for the Splash Pad, which is a Sidewinder. And yeah, so let's get right into that. So real quick, before we actually get to gluing the Sidewinder all up, first off, what is a Sidewinder? Uh, the Sidewinder, basically, it's a, it's a preformed uh, spray nozzle system. Uh, you can get them in circles, you can get them in straight lines, you can get them in straight lines on each side, so you're kind of walking through almost a tunnel because you can aim it. Um, the one that we're building is an S-shaped uh, spray nozzle system and uh, the way this works is um, it's not like our other ones that are tied into the program which are on and off. This is going to be set up similar to our main fixtures. So it, it's something that's always on um, and the nozzles we're going to put in this uh, are directional so we can point them. Uh, wherever we want to do it. If uh, if we want to spray some into the pool, we can do that. Or if we want them all on the splash pad, we can do that as well. So how are the directional nozzles different than just like the regular ones or any other kind that you get? Um, they do have a variety of nozzles. Um, the directional nozzle basically is adjustable. So you can point it left, right, full 360, any way you want. So um, it'll it'll uh, spray in any direction that you want it to. Um, and then uh, the bubbler, which is the other one that we were talking about, this is uh, a pretty basic one. What this one does is just sprays up and then uh, just up and down. Um, so if the kids are running around, they can just kind of run over that. And then we have the shower style, style nozzle. Um, what that does is you can adjust it so it comes up and just kind of showers out almost like a reverse of a uh, shower head in your traditional shower um, yeah so and then these will actually go in the housing bases which we have one here let me open this up which uh, and all these uh, are custom made by Rain Deck, and the uh, thing is that's nice that I like about them is they're plastic, so you don't have to worry about uh, bonding with uh, your pool and stuff like that because it's non-conductive. Um, but the red cap on it is for construction, so once we get these mounted down before we do concrete, they'll screed off them and nothing will get inside. Um, and then there's actually a hole on the top of it. So, and they also give you these flags. So when you're doing the concrete, you put the flags in as markers. So uh, your concrete guys will know um, that your nozzles are there and, and uh, won't step on them on accident. And the uh, uh, red caps can probably be used for winterizing as well. They do sell a winterizing cap. But just looking at these, I think these would be rugged enough to pour your antifreeze in. They give you a tool to unscrew your caps. And uh, you can put the nozzles in when you're ready. And then tighten them right down with the tool. All right, and the other feature with the spray nozzle tool is you can unlock the directional uh, uh, nozzles from underneath. And then you got the tip of it that you can use to di direct the nozzle and then you can uh, tighten it right back up. So it's pretty, pretty cool tool that they provide for you. That's and pretty neat actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even realize that until <laughs> uh, a little bit ago. So. so is there anything else that we really need to talk about or at least let the viewers know before we start gluing or is this just kind of jump this, right into the gluing This process? is going to be uh, rolling pretty similar to the other the manifolds and everything else that we've done it's it's just a lot of gluing of pvc we're we're sticking with the schedule 80 pvc 
uh, mostly inch and a half fittings and then the extensions that come out that are going to hold the nozzles are three quarter inch schedule 40 or schedule 80 um, which will come to a 90 and then we're going to drop down to a half inch and then from there we're going to put on risers using standard schedule 40 pvc mm -hmm. um, and then we'll we'll put caps on them so when we do a pressure test it'll be ready for that and then uh, when we get ready to uh, put the nozzles on we're going to cut the caps off cut them down to size and attach the spray nozzle housings on um, to the appropriate grade that they need to be. Right. All right, so we're gonna jump into time-lapse mode and we'll be right back once it's all finished. And go, I guess. Yeah, see, yeah. Ya. see you in a second. Yeah. So we finally just got done, or at least he did, because I didn't glue anything, but <laughs> finally just got done with this. There was one issue that he ran into, and I'll let you talk about that. Well, we were short about a foot of pipe, um, so we, did, we didn't get a full, complete build yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is check at home, see if I have some Schedule 80. If not, I'm just gonna use uh, Schedule 40 and uh, piece it in. It, it's, like I've said in the past, you don't really need the Schedule 80 for what we're doing with this. There's not a lot of pressure behind it. It's just pushing water through and it's pushing it out the nozzles. So um, we'll piece that in, get it ready to be uh, put in the ground when we get going. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, how was this compared to the other ones? Uh, this one had a lot of glue joints. It, I would compare it to the solenoid manifold. That one had a lot of gluing, too. Uh, this one's uh, big. It's about 70 inches overall by about 32 inches from front to back. Um, I was going to center up our connection point for the water coming in, but looking at our plans, I decided to offset it um, just because it's going in front of our drain and I didn't want to interfere with a elbow or any pipe or anything like that. And I have one length of Schedule 80 PVC, so I decided not to cut that too. So <laughs> it, it worked out in both for uh, both, both issues, so. Oh yeah, so I mean, well, another thing I do want to say, just to give you guys a heads up, this is the final, like, actual building mechanism. That building we the parts that we need um, for the splash pad. We're not, th this is it. We did uh, the solenoid manifold, then we did the fixture manifold, and then we did the footer bases. Yeah, the footer base. uh, and then now we did the sidewinder. Hopefully we explained... Um, to you good enough about what the sidewinder is and uh, and and how we're going to use it. Um, it. We're creating a lot of uh, play stuff for the kids. Uh, we're having 12 nozzles that'll be hooked up to the programmable controller. Originally we were doing the three fixtures um, which is the mushroom, the dumping buckets, and the fire hydrant. I don't think we've showed any pictures on what they were yet, but uh, hopefully we'll get through this and you'll see the actual fixtures in position. And then we built the two additional footer bases for future expansion of other fixtures, or maybe we'll build our own, who knows. 
Um, but for now, I think the two footer bases we put in, we're gonna add uh, custom plates for sprinklers on those as well. Right. So yeah, ideally the next video that we gotta, or the next video that will be up is kind of us tearing apart their concrete because that needs to get... Uh, yeah, yeah, what's next, right? Um, uh, yeah, this part I don't know if I'm excited about or dreading. I, I'm more excited about the end result. Um, it's gonna entail a lot of work. I wanted to start this a month ago, but weather's not been cooperating. Um, we're gonna probably start this this weekend and uh, get going. Uh, weather doesn't look that great. It mm -hmm. It's sketchy. It looks like there's some cold and some wet and then there's some warm coming too. So who knows what's gonna happen. I know weather can change so fast, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't know, hopefully that will only be like a two day process, but <laughs> yeah. who knows. Yeah, we, well, the scope of the project, uh, besides the splash pad um, and what we've discussed, because obviously we mentioned about tying it into the pool. So in order to do that, we got to remove all the concrete around the pool that's existing, which, and then we are going to put all new plumbing in for the pool because um, there were some leaks in the pool. And, uh, and that means we're replacing the liner and doing everything. It, it's a it's a big project, very big project. But uh, but if we were going to tie it in, this is the time to do it. So um, uh, it, it it it's a big project. I, like I said, <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited or what, but I can't wait for it to be over. Well, I mean, plus you still there is that small leak that you got to find anyways. Yeah, yeah, we, somewhere. They're, the returns, when I did the pressure tests on the pool, the return showed fine. So I didn't get a positive for the main drain because uh, winter hit and I couldn't get the pool drained off. So, um, but we do lose water. Um, so I don't know if it's the main drain and then I've been doing some research and it might be, they say the conduit that the lighting's in could be cracked as well. Um, so those are the two main things where I'm not sure what they are, but I'm sure once we start digging and finding all the- Oh, show itself. All the stuff, we'll, we'll find the problem. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to deal with that when that time comes, but yeah. it's gonna be a pain, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. We gotta dig down the pool. We're adding some gas lines in for some uh, outdoor fireplaces or um, grills or whatever. Um, and what else? We're running a hose underground too. That'll probably run with the gas lines, but that's going to the pool room so we can have an auto fill for our pool. Um, because of the splash pad, not all the water is gonna return into the pool. So I want to put an auto fill in there, so any loss of water will automatically uh, fill back up. Right. Well, I I guess we'll call it a year and. Yeah, I think we covered a lot. We covered the nozzles. Uh, we got the sidewinder built. We said what ninety that was. percent built. Yeah, yeah, nine ninety eight. I would yeah. say, but uh, but yeah, um, and then the next thing's the big project. So mm -hmm. so. Hope you guys do enjoy this. If you have any questions about anything that we have done or are doing, feel free to leave a comment down below and one of us will get back to you. And yeah, so have a good night or day and it's I'm night. Out. See ya.